Well, I'm so glad you tuned in, and I want you to join Joni and me as we welcome back from Columbus, Ohio, the senior pastor of World Harvest Church and the host of the Breakthrough television program, Pastor Rod Parsley. Miss Joni says to say hi to yeah, Joni. Yeah. You, you want me here? You sit even closer uh, to us. I'll get close to you then. A lot of people don't know, but it was in the 1970s as a 19-year-old leader of a backyard Bible study. 17 people in my parents' backyard barbecue <laughs> shelter. <laughs> how, how did that all start? Well, I was a sophomore in Bible college. I was driving down the road. I graduated from high school. I was driving down the road going to work. I worked a secular job. And uh, I'd become very, very ill, Marcus and Joni. I, I just horribly ill. And they kept taking me to doctor after doctor after doctor. And finally, my mother said to me, uh, you know, what, what's the matter with you? They can't find anything wrong with you. And up out of my spirit, I didn't know it then, came the words, well, maybe I want to preach. And, and just as quickly as I said that, I grabbed those words back out of the atmosphere and said, no, I don't. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. I'm the most backward person oh, in the world. Man. Completely introverted and uh, painfully, painfully shy. And, uh, but from that moment, my mother, she uh, allowed God to call me. And uh, she said, well, uh, God calls one to preparation first. So get in school and see what God has for you. And then I was selling real estate. My mother was a real estate broker. My father was a custom home builder. And I was selling real estate. I was in an open house on a Saturday afternoon. And I had an uncle look across the table at me and he said, why don't you start a church in Pickerington? And in the same manner, I said, well, I'm going to, I'm going to begin it this week. And that's the way the whole thing started, and I've just been holding on ever since. Oh, wow. That is, John, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? That is an amazing story for sure. I tell you what, um, it's amazing to see what God has done. Could you have ever imagined? Oh, goodness, no. What God would do? Oh, goodness, So you were no. really introverted? Yes. No. See, I was the same way, so yes. shy. I couldn't testify my way out of a wet paper bag, much less preach. So I guess God does it sometimes because he wants us to be totally dependent on he him. Does. And so he can get all the yeah, glory. I, you know, I'm doing a, a class for Valor Christian College uh, in Columbus. And I, I, I wanted to teach on leadership. This is my 40th year full time in ministry. Oh, fantastic. 40 years. 29th year, next year will be 30 years full time on daily television across wow. America and around the world. And I know I don't look that old. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Yes, you started you yeah. the shape I'm in. Yes. <laughs> started really, really, really young. And, and uh, but I, I'm teaching on leadership, and I was teaching on the, the four major personality types last Sunday evening. And, uh, what I, what I discovered in that is though we may have certainly the, one of those major personality types, yet God can use us outside of our comfort zone. Yes. And often he does to display that vulnerability, if you will, and then that dependency upon him. So the more people that I'm in front of, the more comfortable I become. The, the least amount of people I'm in front of, or the less amount of people I'm in front of, the more uncomfortable I am. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so is Valor Christian okay. College classes started for the fall? They have started for the fall, and things are going marvelously well. Uh, everybody pray for us. We're, we're believing that, uh, and we've been told that by the end of October, the 1st of November, uh, we will be qualified uh, for Title IV funding for all of our students, which is a Great. huge, huge uh, blessing to our students. So yeah. we're excited about that, praying about that, worrying about that, as the doctor just shared. And give us an update on Dominion Camp oh Meeting. My. It's been going on for decades. Well, Dominion Camp Meeting, you know we put the pause button on for a while. And I've just never done anything, Marcus, that just because we've always done it. 
Yes. I, I just once a year, I bring all the team together from 14 major ministries and I say, everything's on the table. Let's talk about what we're doing, why we're doing it, should we still That's be good. doing it? Yes. And, Very and good. so for a while, we took uh, a time off from Dominion Camp Meeting, hit the pause button. But in 2014, that year when God is opening a door that no man can close, uh, I felt in my heart to do it again. And so we did. And we had a tremendous time. And it was uh, the theme of the conference was it's time to dream again and uh, reigniting the dreams. But God gave me a very, very unusual message at Dominion Camp Meeting this year. Naturally, everybody thought with a theme like dream again, it's time to dream again, we'd be talking about our dreams, our dreams before God and dreams that have been put on hold and so on and so forth. But the Holy Spirit took me to the book of Judges, chapter 6 and 7, where Gideon is said to be a mighty man of valor. Well, let me tell you that hell will always fight you over what heaven has called you. Wow. He was no mighty man of valor. He was hiding from the Midianites. He was the least of the least. Hmm. And God had him go listen not to his own dream. Some folks focus too much on their own dream. In fact, the whole body of Christ right now is too focused on itself. We oh, have become yes. so inwardly focused that we're not going into all the world That's and so preaching true. the gospel. Yeah. But I, I am encouraged today, Marcus, because I believe that the gospel is on a comeback. Yes. I really do. I think folks are tired of, of just, you know, some self-help humanism with a few scriptures thrown in. I believe, and I thank God for Daystar, and I thank God for your ministry, which, by the way, is going to see a more than double increase in impact um, in your live meetings. Yeah. The Holy Spirit has spoken to me and is speaking to me now that it will Praise begin God. with a thank double, Jesus. but there will be a sevenfold increase Praise in the amount of miracles Hallelujah. and salvations Praise. and signs and wonders. For Amen. even Daystar was a secondary vision to the primary vision that God gave you, and that was to reach the hurting, to bring wow. the gospel of salvation by the blood of the Lamb Hallelujah. and miracles, signs, and wonders. Even as you were in your, your uh, dorm room, I'm seeing you there in prayer, calling Praise out Lord. to God. God, use me, God. Yes. Anoint Thanks. my hands to heal Hallelujah. the sick. I believe Thanks. the dead can be raised Hallelujah. again. And I've come Praise on an assignment today, Marcus, by the power of Praise the Holy God. Spirit, that that which you thought was set to the side is about to be brought to the forefront even again. And day star, but a Thanks. mechanism for that ministry where you will stand and declare God's Thanks. word in power and anointing. You have Amen. even said, yes. who will stand in yes. that gap? I, I hope I'm not out of line. Mm. I, haven't, I haven't meditated on any of this. This is coming Praise to me the by the power Jesus. of the Holy Spirit. Praise and you have stood back and you have said, well, who will fill that gap? that has been left wide open. And you have said to yourself, well, I have all this to do. Surely it's not me. Yeah. And God would say to you, don't look for another. Just come before me, says God, and there will be such an outpouring of my spirit. You will see you. what others Thank do you. not see. You will hear those words Thank of you, wisdom, Lord. those Thank words you. of knowledge. In fact, a mighty increase in the giftings the of the Holy Spirit that have been operative and yet way more dormant than Praise God them. wanted them to be are about to explode wow. in your meetings. You wow. will see those signs. You will declare Praise those them. wonders, Praise says them. the Lord. The deaf will hear, mm. the blind will see, you, the tumors will disappear, and the altars, wow. oh, the altars wow. shall overflow in abundance. I see meetings wow. where more people will be born again than the seating capacity of the buildings wow. you're in. Praise As God. people are outside, mm -hmm. go forth, wow. preach the gospel, and God shall surely confirm wow. it with signs, miracles, wow. and wonders following. Amen. Thus says the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, I don't know if I have anything else to that, say today, so, but I had something to say. That's to God. so overwhelming. 
and uh, so humbling. I don't hardly know what to say. But I do recognize the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and I know He is here. And that makes this such a great opportunity mm. for, to get, for you to get your prayer call in yes. now or go to daystar.com. While Pastor Rod Parsley is here, and this great anointing is hovering on him. Mm. Call, get your prayer request in. If you need a breakthrough, if you need to be delivered, if you need to be oh, set free, God. maybe just healed of a broken Yes, heart. God. A disappointed spirit. Yes. A wounded soul. Yes. God loves you so much today. He wants to minister to you and meet your need and answer your prayer. As Dr. David Ireland so eloquently pointed out, yes. even more than you want him to. Oh, God. He wants to. Amen. Would you call? Joni? Blood Brothers. I want yes. to make yes. sure tell we get that, that in. Let's, uh, let's go to this spot, and we'll come out and let Pastor Rod tell us about it real quick. So, Blood Brothers with Bishop T.D. Jake. Make your plans now for one of the most life-transforming evenings of ministry this year. Blood Brothers, Pastor Rod Parsley and Bishop T.D. Jakes, two of God's choicest servants, together for one night only, proclaiming the word of the Lord at World Harvest Church, Friday, September 26th at 7 p.m. For more information, go to rodparsley.com. That's rodparsley.com. Don't miss it. Well, that's something I'd like to, to, to be at. But get your call in right now. All the lines are jammed. One thing I have learned, when God gives a word, many times there's an overflow to others. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And God says, I've spoken it, but this is oh, for others yes. as well. Receive that today. Pastor Rod, would you lead yes. us in prayer? You can call even Keep after calling. the break. Keep calling. Father, in the name of your Christ, I spoke through Marcus, not just to him. Let that word be apprehended by every hungry and hurting soul today. Heal, deliver, and save in Jesus' name. 